Hey guys, I'm here with the lovely Christine Fredheim and we are going to be doing a video that I've wanted to do forever. If you asked me what my top videos I've ever wanted to do, this is at the very top. So Christine here is a psychic slash life coach. She is extremely fashionable as you can see, so I thought she'd be a great person to get on the channel. And this video is kind of a little insight into what I enjoy, which is, I don't know, this kind of slightly more paranormal thing. So today we're going to share with you a little reading. So Christine is going to provide me with my first psychic reading, I suppose you could say, ever. And I haven't asked her any questions. She's basically just going to tell me whatever comes to her. And we're just going to keep this video really easy breezy. So if you're not into this kind of thing, this is your chance to kick out now. But if you want to see something super entertaining, then keep watching. Okay, Christine, what do you want for me? <laughs> So one of the first things that came up when I saw you today is that you are on your right track and it's going quite quickly. Okay. But you are on a learning curve. So there's a lot of things that are coming to you in your way right now that might not feel like this is what you want in your life or whatnot, but okay. it's in a learning phase right now. Okay. So you're building your career slowly but steady but moving up, up, up all the time. Okay, well that's comforting to know because that's something I've been really thinking about. Yeah. Even up to yesterday, it's, you know, I've had some different opportunities come my way that have really gotten me thinking yeah. that don't necessarily feel right for me. It's right about now, to but... shape you yeah, and so that you get to test out different things to know exactly what is it that you want in your future because you don't have a specific thing, you yeah. have many different yes, things. Yes, exactly, which is what I'm always so worried about is yeah. that I like to do a lot of different no, things. No, right now you should just, just allow yourself to do the things that you, you feel drawn to really but um, for career-wise you're doing really really well because when you are in doing posting things and sharing things with the world, you actually get to express so much about your passion. Mm -hmm. So you get to grow as a soul by doing what you do. So you shouldn't change okay. that at okay. all. So just <laughs> continue doing that. Um, I mean, that I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But as uh, we talked a bit earlier is that you should definitely use more of yourself okay. and continue doing that. But do it in a slow pace where you feel comfortable because mm -hmm. You are still figuring out a lot of things about yourself. Yeah, definitely. So use it as just learning more about yourself. Okay. And then when you feel comfortable about a certain thing, then yeah, I want to share this with the world, I want to share this with my readers, then, then you do that. Cool. Because people don't just necessarily relate to your style and love your pretty photos and stuff, but when you start opening up, you're going to get a lot more followers because people kind of crave more art. Yeah, yeah definitely. And, and I think like that's something I've been really reflecting on lately is that I haven't been able to show you guys the important things to me. I always feel like I gotta show you guys the fluffy side of life. Whereas yeah. there's a lot of things in my life that have shaped me and anytime I've shared anything about that in the past years later I still get messages from people saying, Oh you said this thing yes. years ago and it really really helped and I want to bring more of that to the channel, starting with a video like this. So, yeah. yeah. So business-wise, everything is really well. Uh, I feel confident that everything is going to go your way because okay. you're using your soul and your heart to it. So that's really what we want everyone to be able to do. But unfortunately, that's not how. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not that easy. Yeah. But I do see things in the designer thing where you're going to be able to do different things. So um, I'm not sure if you have, if you like to draw or whatnot or put things together, but um, there is more stuff that you haven't really thought about that's going to come your way. It's going to give you a lot of pleasure. Okay. But this yeah. is coming down the line of it in the future. I would say like in yeah. two, two to five years okay. from now, you will do that. Yeah. That's fine. So it will change from being like clothes and stuff okay. like that to more of a bigger picture. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Amazing. And as of your location, this is also a part of your learning process because you have, like there will be a lot of connections here mm -hmm. and the work ethic and, and there's so much that the city is actually giving you yeah. to grow uh, business wise, but eventually it will be really good for relocate mm -hmm. to somewhere it's not so busy, mm -hmm. maybe not so many people in the street, yeah, but just definitely. tone it down. Mm -hmm. um, but when I, it's so funny because when I started reading your energy, usually I come up to people and then I sense they have issues of 
some sort that they need to kind of work on to mm -hmm. get better. But with you, I don't sense that. Okay. Like with your mind and everything and, and your health and all of that seems oh, to well. be in perfect order. That sounds fantastic. Um, it's just that you get to use so much of yourself in your work, so it kind of goes automatically. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing that kind of uh, stops you from expressing that. And when we don't allow that, that's when we get like uh, clogged up. Yeah, clogged yeah. up in our body. But okay. that energy of you is constantly like coming through. Okay. Uh, as in spiritually and all of that, you actually have a lot of spirituality inside of you that you are going to learn to use because mm -hmm. okay. you do have the sensitivity side of yourself yeah, where you can feel other people's pain yeah, oh my god it's so crazy you said that because like it's the first thing that popped into my head when you said i was going to sense it it's even making me kind of emotional right now oh i didn't expect this either. <laughs> but i would say that extremely i think i get it from my mom we're both like super empathetic yeah. and like it's nearly too easy to put ourselves in other people's shoes and it can really drive yeah. Yeah. Us down. So wow, that's really, really yeah. interesting you said that. Is there a way that I can use that? Yes, in the yes, for sure. Um, you just continue learning more about it and how how to kind of use it. But for you to be this sensitive is a sign that um, I usually look at it as a sign that you have done this before. Okay. That you have lived several lives, so you are okay. old soul, so that you really can relate to people without actually having to experience it in this lifetime. Okay. But. Um, to use it, there's not much I can advise you on that, but yeah. when people are draining you with it, then you just need to be like, are these my emotions? If not, release from yeah. my body okay. and just, just try and... You know, know when the line is to kind of, yeah. when it starts affecting me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the sensitivity can actually grow to be quite uh, spiritually so that you could read people like oh. I do. Yeah. That's another crazy thing you said that because like I, I kind of mentioned to Christine before that I am very, it can be anything. I love conspiracies, I love psychic things, I love par anything to do with paranormal. And I was, I was looking up about two weeks ago how if I could go to remote viewing classes because I was like, I'm not a psychic, so maybe I can teach myself to like have some kind of like psychic ability. And like, if you don't know what remote viewing is, it's basically an army technique that they use to be able to see into different places and to kind of um, use some kind of psychic ability you have within yourself to, I don't know, make it into a productive thing where you can kind of use your, your energy and teach yourself that. So that's really, really yeah. cool. Can people become? Yeah. Something? I mean, at least for you, it's not going to be difficult okay. since you're already very sensitive. But I mean, uh, I know a lot of people that, or not a lot, I knew a few people that wasn't very spiritual even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and spend time meditating mm -hmm. and that kind of opened it up more and then just being interested in the spiritual stuff and doing uh, and talking to people about mm -hmm. kind of what you do and um, one of them one of the closest ones I have turned in to be like a full-time psychic oh yeah. wow that's <laughs> incredible I do think that he had some suppressed you know psychic skills yeah so he wasn't okay really he's like popped out of the box yeah, exactly. <laughs> When I'm kind of alone, I do feel like there. Well, I like to think that there's people kind of looking out for me and watching out for me, past relatives, things like that. And that I'm not personally highly religious, but I'm definitely very spiritual. And that you know, sometimes I still go home and I say my prayers, and I say my prayers to the universe, and I say my prayers to you know deceased relatives that might be watching over me. And sometimes I feel like they are they're really listening. And sometimes I've had like answers. Um, pre sometimes I've had prayers answered just like whoa like I mean, how did this happen and I feel like you know things slightly went my way or you know if I wish could help on somebody do they yes. make do they let me know that they're there or am I yeah. just imagining it or just assuming that I mean them? the part of being a human is supposed to it's supposed to be hard yeah there's a reason why we do not remember much from spirit world because we're supposed to face earth and learn all these lessons the hard way because yeah. that's how we grow mm -hmm. um but as of our spirits helpers and god and whatnot they're here for us all the time and so the universe so when you pray you are they're listening mm -hmm. um and personally like i believe in god but not in the way that people yeah. you know have it's not me because i believe in like some bigger yeah thing there is something there is 
something bigger and I think there's a reason why we are here on earth and that's to kind of become, I don't want to say to become more godlike, but mm -hmm. become more pure yeah. and have something to kind of draw us upwards. Because okay. why are we here if, if, if not, it, yeah. there's no purpose? As of my experience, when you, when you pray um, and when you believe, you will get them answered. Mm -hmm. It's when you start doubting and being like, do I really deserve this? Yeah. I don't know. And when you pick, kind of pick on yourself, because I find yeah. that to be the biggest problem why people don't get what they want is because they don't let themselves have it. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, so they are listening and they are there. Like our help us. <laughs> they are. <laughs> They are on their toes next to us and be like, oh, I'm so excited, I want to help you. And does everyone have their own kind of help yes. and like Nobody is random? Or? No, no, no. It's, um, I usually talk about this when we come more into it, but in heaven we have a group of souls. Mm -hmm. So you can look at us as a soul family. Okay, yeah, okay. And in one soul family you could be like, 15, maybe 35 souls. Yeah. Okay. And within these souls, you have your soulmate and twin soul or whatnot, the people that you're really close to. Mm -hmm. And when it's time for you to get born, mm -hmm. maybe eight of those souls in that group gets reborn with you. Okay. And you meet them here and there. Okay. So the people that you still have or the souls you still have in heaven will be mm -hmm. there to protect you in spirit world. Okay. And then you have the ones that are kind of like angels here on earth, okay. which is from your group as well. So that's why sometimes when you meet someone, you just get this instant connection. Okay. Like, I know this person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And because of all the technology and our human minds and all of that, it's kind of hard to focus and really feel mm -hmm. that. Yeah. But when you're open to it, you know. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, so interesting. And we were speaking about souls there a while ago. Are you able to channel what I might have been in a past life? Do you, do you yeah. know what kind of person I want? Mm -hmm. Multiple people, like what kind of comes to you in terms of what I might have been or who I might have been in a past life? Well, you have lived several lifetimes. Um, and usually lifetimes come up if it has an important effect on this. Okay. Um, but the first message that comes in, and I think this has to do with all of this when it comes to you being able to express yourself mm -hmm. in the past life, you haven't been able to do that. Okay. So that's why it's so important to you okay. that you're so passionate about actually yeah. doing that. Um, I feel like the, the I don't, I'm not sure if it was the last one or the one before that, but um, I just see a lot of poverty. It's kind of those old, um, I'm more attracted to say like England or Scotland, kind of those buildings where there were kind of castle but like, smaller, but okay. I just see the kitchen area that are for okay. the workers. Yeah, maybe like house. 18th century yeah. or something, where it's not the quite like medieval, yeah. but kind of not quite like 19th. I just see you there like making food and stuff, but it's not your house, right. oh, you're just working there. <laughs> so ironic because I love cooking. But I did get the sense that you really liked that, that as well too, because then you had your alone time to really do what you like to mm -hmm. do. Um, but then again, you had people that kind of owned you. Yeah, yeah. So you were working for someone. So yeah. in this lifetime, you get to be completely free and independent in all the things that you do. So. Uh, that's really important for you as a soul to continue doing so. Okay. Yeah. And would you say I have more lives to live after, or am I coming to like? Does I it, is there a point don't where feel like you. I feel like you're done. Okay. Well, yeah. So I better live it to the full, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's you know we always have the choice to come back, but most souls really don't want to come back because mm -hmm. it's super hard here on Earth. Yeah. It's one of the most popular schools that you could do because we have the mental and we have our emotions and then spiritually and then our physical body. We have so much all at once, but as a spirit, we're just love yeah. and that pure pureness of light. So it's really difficult and hard here, but yeah. I do think that this is your last life. Okay, so I've done all the things that I needed yeah. to do. So You've always been a very quick learner and you're growing really fast. Okay. So I don't know. I don't see it necessary for you to come back. Yeah. I don't see any problems that you have that you really need to sort out on your own either. Okay, well that's comforting to know. I can just live my life. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's really rare, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> because I think, weirdly, I, I know a lot about myself deep down. Yeah. But it's kind of cool to have somebody kind of come along and confirm right. that. This is actually a question that I wondered. Okay, you know so much about others, your, your guides. 
Do they tell you things about yourself? Do, do they help you? Do they let you figure things out on your own? Yeah, sometimes. Like my guide is my father, and he oh, passed right. when I was fifteen, and and I look at him as my twin soul. So mm -hmm. it was extremely difficult for me. Mm -hmm. But he has the same personality, and he comes off in the same role as yeah, being perfect, like yeah. really protective as a yeah. father. Um, and he especially interferes in my dating life. Oh god, I can imagine what's that like? I mean, it's like, I tell people he's the biggest cock blocker ever. Oh! <laughs> 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 that's what, that's what you think it's when you have all these affinities and sometimes, is there like a line? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do, is, it, is there kind of a point where they, do they watch? Do they, mm, I mean, and they like around a little bit too much? I or? mean, they will leave me alone. Or do they go to that's the best. But, okay, um, but yeah, did they warn you if you got like a bad guy on the cards? Or? Yeah, I mean, like if I I have been interested in like several men and that they my dad has been like no no no, no. and then he sends me people that are either married or someone oh, I would no. never really feel attracted to or just like yeah he's enough he's enough and then I think lately he's been doing a really well job. Okay, so. that's good. So I'm happy. Uh, probably a big one a lot of you guys want would like to know is do we have more than one soulmate in life? Well, I don't think so. I think you get one soulmate for every lifetime, but if you meet someone from your soul group, it could feel almost the same. It could, yeah, it could yeah. be good enough. Yeah, but no, but I, I've been with my soulmate, like he's my ex-husband, but mm -hmm. I still consider him as my soulmate, but I've met people from my soul group that I, I enjoy being with yeah. just the same, yeah. almost. Yeah. So, I don't think it really matters when you have someone that you are heavenly connected to. It's yeah. If you are not doing what you're supposed to do here on earth, like karmatic wise and following your heart and all of that, you kind of stop the growth. Yeah. And if your soulmate is doing what they're supposed to do, mm -hmm. then you are not in line. So yeah, you have to move on from that. Yeah. My boyfriend's very like go with the flow. I feel like he's kind of like yeah, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. You know? Yeah. Kind of like, I'm very go getter. He's kind of like the opposite. He yeah. kind of like. I but feel like you're always a little under your arm. You just do yeah. it with me. Yeah. <laughs> you're kind of like the polar opposite yeah. of like what I am yeah. in your ways. And is that like a good vibe? It's it's good. He's gonna be more he's gonna be more what you want when you're settled as well. Okay. He just needs some time, really. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. like not everyone is like yeah. go, go, go. But, but he's very comfortable with life and all of that, but it's just I feel it can trigger you. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Wait and see because I think it's a very good match. I feel very good and calm around right. you two. Okay. And right now, there's not another man that will kind of help you through this process mm -hmm. because the fact that he's kind of like a pillow, like I said, yeah. <laughs> it makes you more space to follow what you need yeah. without having that interference mm -hmm. of someone else that yeah. you really love and care about to be really passionate about their stuff. Yeah. So you get so much space yeah. to do the things that you need to do. Yeah. You just feel like your whole chest area here is just like a magnet to where you're supposed to go. Okay. So you're really safe in that area. Awesome. And I do feel like you have a lot of protection, so I don't sense that you're going to have to go through a lot of horrible things and, and whatnot, or being okay. robbed and all of that you know, okay, scary yeah, stuff. <laughs> no, because some people, they are quite attracted to, to going through like a lot of unnecessary it's shit, shit yeah, say, yeah. but it's not in your frequency. Okay, that's fair. Live on the Upper East Side, you know? <laughs> <laughs> only need a dog. Uh, Christine, it's been an absolute pleasure. I'm so excited to share this video with you guys. Yeah. I will leave all of Christine's information down below. She has an amazing website where you can get in contact, get a reading um, through Skype or in person. I think you work from Norway, New York, and um, LA, some place, yes. right? Yes. So, yeah, so if you want to check out more about her Instagram, everything will be down in the down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.